In this video, we're going to learn how to use annotations to gain more subscribers and how you can use them to send viewers to your websites. In our last video, we learned how to use annotations to link our videos together for more views. But you don't want only views. You want subscribers, customers, maybe a long-term relationship? Reviewing what we learned in the one-click subscribe lesson, you can add a subscribe button to each video with annotations. Let's choose your video, edit the annotations, add new annotation, and if you didn't edit a subscribe area into your actual video, don't use Spotlight, use Note. This will show the text, even the user is not mousing over or hovering on the annotation. Spotlight and Label only show the text when you hover on the annotation. So enter your text, copy your channel ID, link it up, always, always preview, and you're good to go. You can also use annotations to encourage viewer interaction. For example, at a high point in the video, you could ask them to like the video by thumbing it up or commenting. You can also use annotations to go back and fix something in your video. For example, if in your video you say a formula wrong or you get a fact incorrect, you don't notice until the video already has a few hundred views. You don't want to nuke all those views by deleting the video and re-uploading it, so you can just add an annotation with the correct info and an explanation. Much easier, and you preserve those views. So there are five types of annotations. Speech bubbles, notes, titles, spotlights, and labels. Now speech bubbles, you don't really use that often. You can change where this little uh, bubble part is. It's kind of cool. But I don't really use that often. Notes are very useful because they, along with speech bubbles and titles, are the three kinds that show their text always, but they look the best out of all three of them. Titles are just kind of tacky. You probably want to put in your titles with your video editing software instead. Spotlights are super useful for doing the video making trick and also highlighting an area where you don't necessarily want words. And labels are kind of like spotlights, but let's say your video is a lot of different colors, you have a hard time getting good contrast, you can have a label which has a solid color behind the word so it's easy to read for your users. Now you can add a link to any kind of annotation, but there's actually a bunch of different types of links you can do. Let's look through those now. There's a video, so you can link to any YouTube video. There's playlists, channel, Google Plus profile page, yet yeah, no one ever does that. Good try, Google. Subscribe, and also fundraising project. Now, fundraising project is really interesting because you can now push your viewers off of YouTube to your own site or your own fundraising project. It's pretty cool. However, Google has a list of sites they will support. So Google YouTube supported fundraising sites, and you go to this one. It's a Google support article that shows the sites they currently support for external fundraising. So if you have a site or a campaign on any one of these, it'll work great. And they cover the main ones like Kickstarter, Indiegogo, Kiva, etc. But what if you didn't want to send someone to a fundraising project? What if you wanted to send them to your e-commerce store, or your local business page, or your personal web page? You used to not be able to, but now you can, through a new feature called Cards. Now Cards work on any device. Annotations used to not work on mobile, but Cards will work on mobile as well, which is awesome. So let's add a card and see what we can do. You can see there's five different types of card. Associated website, fundraising again, merchandise, video or playlist, and channel. The merchandise and the associated website are awesome. Let's look at the merchandise one first. Let's hit create. Once again, they have a list of supported merchandise sites. Let's look at that. They have other approved retailers as well. Look at those. You can see they have quite a few. They have Bandcamp, Bandpage, Etsy, Eventbrite, Gumroad, Live Nation. If you want to sell merchandise, they basically support it. So let's set up a merchandise card. I happen to know of a great product on Gumroad that we'll use as an example. Copy the URL, paste it in, YouTube will validate it. The title can only be 60 characters, so let's slim this down a little bit. Call to action. now. The teaser text is what will pop out at the time you set to entice them to click on the card. So let's say something like see how that works. It pulled the image automatically from Gumroad or I could upload my own. It lets it create card. Now you see it placed the card right here. Now we need to pick when we want this to pop out. Usually, you're going to try to correlate the card to the video. So let's say I want to about it right here. Want to learn about this? We'll pop out at the specified time. 
And then as the video continues to playing, it'll go away. But this card will always be available there to click. And when they click on it, it'll have a popover with your merchandise. It's pretty neat. Now it's basically the same process to send someone to your website with one catch. You have to have the link to your associated website in your settings. So go to your settings. And here's where you can tell them the website. So unfortunately, you can only have one website. If you want to link to a different one, you have to change it here in the settings. Unfortunate, but it's okay. So I'll link to my website. You also have to verify that you own it. This requires you to know a little bit about how your site works, but if you have one, you probably know these things. So either use the HTML method, or I sometimes like to use the Google Analytics method. But that's how you set up a personal website. And then you do the card in the exact same way as the merchandise card. And you can see that the cards work on mobile. Awesome. In this video, we've learned that you can use annotations to ask viewers to subscribe, ask them to interact with your videos, fix problems in your videos, and send them viewers to your websites. Thanks for watching.